Rosie here, obviously, and welcome to a new video. Today's video is super excited because we are going to be explaining and talking about my new Let's Play that's coming onto the channel tomorrow. Yay! How exciting. So basically, uh, you're seeing a few pictures of Sims right here. The Let's Play is going to be focused around a single dad bringing up his two kids. So this is the family right here, just some shots of them hanging out. And we are also going to include the kids spending some time at their mum's house. Uh, the mum wasn't in a position to really look after them uh, because she's more of a mean sim. She's quite self-centered and she just wasn't able to be a good role model for the kids. So uh, that's why they live with their dad. They don't have a whole lot of money. They live in this apartment in San Myshuno, which we are going to be furnishing in this kind of speed furnish, speed build of their apartment. And um, basically it's gonna be a nice apartment, but nothing flashy. It's got a room that is for both the kids to share a smallish room and then the dad has a room of his own as well there's cracks in the walls a lot of the stuff around the place is a little bit dated but you know what matters the most and that is family so they are living there they are happy but let me tell you right now i've already recorded a couple of parts of the let's play and it's so hard being a single dad i have so much respect for any of you single parents watching this or anyone who has single parents um my parents are separated and i was mostly brought up by my mom so yeah i <laughs> i totally have lived it and and it's, um, you know, at times it can be really hard, but I thought it would be a really interesting Let's Play to play around with. And so far it's going pretty well and I'm excited to share it with you guys tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, let's get started on the bathroom right here. I wanted this to look like it was a little bit dated. It wasn't a flashy bathroom. We have a lot of cheap things in there. Cheap shower, cheap sink, cheap um toilet everything is cheap 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 and uh that is because we managed to furnish this apartment under 20,000 simoleons so that was pretty good the dad at this stage does not have a job yet uh, you guys will have to watch the let's play to find out what we decide to go with and um yeah so he's kind of gone through this divorce he's unemployed he's thinking how am i going to look after these two kids how am i going to provide for them whilst also being there for them because his wife is living uh, with her parents and is not contributing financially to her kids. So it is really a one man job. The good thing is we are going to be interacting with the grandparents as well, uh, the maternal grandparents and also the paternal as well. Uh, so there's two sets of grandparents, um, two grandmothers, one grandfather and uh like one grandmother on one side and then a grandmother and a grandpa on the other side so there is going to be some other family members there and we're also going to work on finding our main man a lover one needs to find a lover oh and that's his name his name is awan and uh his full name is awan sasuli and uh i imagine his heritage is probably pakistani that was kind of what i thought i would go with in my imagination um so shout out to you guys and yeah he he is bringing up his kids just him by himself which i've said a million times you guys get it you guys get the idea um so yeah Basically, we needed a high chair for the toddler. Oh my gosh, toddlers are so difficult to take care of. I am going to be relieved when the toddler ages up. I mean, you gotta bathe them, you gotta take them to the toilet, you gotta wake them up in the morning, you gotta put them in their high chair to feed them. And let me tell you right now, The Sims game does not make that any easier. <laughs> it is very, very difficult. I also wanted to make sure that our life was even more harder by putting in laundry as well. So we are going to have a washing machine and dryer, which makes the gameplay even more stressful. And because I've done a few votes, uh, you guys have been requesting more face cam. So this Let's Play will have face cam in it. Uh, I know a lot of you guys prefer that. I know some of you guys prefer no face cam, but we'll just see how we go. If we get sick of my face, uh, we can remove it. It is okay. I can remove my head. Not, not in real life, but in the video, I can remove my face cam. Uh, you know, it, it's all good. We'll just cruise along and do what we want to and just have fun and enjoy the game. I also love this couch from Parenthood. It's so cute. It's so like 
family-ish, family-esque. So we definitely want to use that. I also wanted to get an armchair that just looked like it had been picked up from hard rubbish or passed down from random neighbors or something like that. So even though everything in this apartment is kind of mismatching, it still comes together in some kind of unity of everything being muddled up in chaos. It does come together and it feels like a home. So that is the cool thing about it. I also wanted a one to have a hobby. So when he does have a little bit of downtime, what he loves to do is woodwork. So he does have a woodworking station. He hopefully will be able to make some money from sculptures in the future. I think he's got handiness level three. This also means that he is able to level up his handiness if any of the cheap things around the apartment break. He's going to be able to fix that and then that will in turn allow him to do better sculptures. And he is also in a career that could make money outside of just going to work. So you guys will figure that out once we're in the gameplay. I don't want to do any spoilers <laughs> right now. And I love how this shelf tucks up so nicely under those cabinets. I thought that looked kind of cool. And I thought we'd have a few industrial aspects to the house as well. So we have that fluorescent light and the neon signs, uh, a scout board, because I feel like the kids are going to want to become scouts. And I also feel like I didn't earn enough badges when I first tried that out. So we're gonna continue looking at that. We also have the parenthood board there where we can set curfews. And we're gonna just, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to give me the feedback on what kind of parent you want a one to be. Do you want him to become strict over time? Are the kids going to be goody two shoes? Are they going to rebel a little bit? I feel like his daughter is going to start off being quite a goody two shoes and she kind of has to be. She has to help out around the house. Sometimes she has to feed herself because her dad isn't always there. He just doesn't have enough time to do everything, especially when she's got a little brother who's a toddler. So I'm thinking that in the first instance, she's very independent and she does a lot of things herself. She's kind of had to age up more quickly, but at the same time, that independence makes her think she can do whatever she wants. So she is going to rebel a little bit in the future, I think, which I'm kind of excited for the gameplay of that. Uh, also, because we are in the city of San Myshuno for a change, I thought we would put in some industrial brick wallpaper. So that wallpaper is from Dine Out that we will be placing in in just a second, um, just to make it look a little bit more industrial and to give the apartment a little bit more grit and a little bit more life. The bedroom has the spoiled carpet, dirty carpet. So hopefully this apartment looks pretty run down. So then we have something to aim for in the future. Hopefully this family will be able to make a bit of money move up in the ranks, um, live a more comfortable lifestyle as they become more successful. I really love a storyline from people who don't have much and they end up with a lot. I love storylines like that. So I think that's what we're gonna aim for. But to begin with, it's gonna take us a little while. I guess you could say it's a little bit rags to riches. <laughs> like they're starting off with not a whole lot, but they'll end up with a lot, hopefully, in case everything goes downhill, which is possible. And I think it's possible, you guys. Love the little cactus plant, putting in lots of cracks and things in the walls um, that look, you know, pretty, pretty run down. And I don't know why, but there's this glitch with the window that was so annoying. In apartments, you can't delete the exterior windows because they're obviously part of the building. It's like if you rent an apartment, you can't just delete the window in real life. But this window is glitched out. I don't know if you guys have had the same issue in this particular apartment in San Myshuno but it's so annoying. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to just ignore that. Hopefully it just fixes itself at some point. I'd like that. And this is the little girl's little nook. Uh, so she has a little bit of privacy. Hopefully when, before she's a teenager, she'll get a little bit more privacy, either a bigger room for her and her brother to share, or maybe they will be able to move into another house where she'll have two bedrooms. I'm just hoping they can upgrade a little bit so she can feel like she has room and doesn't have to always share with her brother. But at this stage in the same room, her little brother has his little toddler bed. Um, we also made sure to put in that nightlight that keeps away the boogeyman because it's really annoying when the kids wake up super scared and they already have nightmares sometimes. We don't need the boogeyman to be there as well. Uh, and we need a bookshelf as well because you know, 
books are a good way to get entertainment. Books are important, reading is important. And I don't tell myself that enough. I feel like I haven't read a book for so long, you guys, like properly. I just don't get into many books. At the moment, I am reading a book about anxiety, but it's not really like an enjoy, like it's not for enjoyment, it's more for knowledge. So it's not like, I guess, an entertaining read. It's just like a, I'm learning read. But I would like to find a new entertaining read, like Harry Potter. Harry Potter was the best. I don't think I've ever found another book other than Harry Potter that I've actually not been able to put down. Hunger Games I've read, Twilight I've read, and you guys are probably noticing right now that I only read the popular books. I have tried other books, but I haven't been immersed in them in the same way. So I don't know. I need to read more there. Anyway, uh, so there's a dollhouse, there's a few little kids things, lots of posters on the wall, because I remember when I was a kid, I used to put so many things on my wall. Like I loved covering my walls and things. Even, even as a teenager, um, I loved doing that as well. Anyway, here are the screenshots. So this is the apartment building they are in. This is a cool apartment building. I've never actually played in this apartment, I don't think. Here is the kitchen and entrance. We've got the washing machine area, the, the scout board, lounge room. It's all, it's all kind of come together and I think it looks kind of cool. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. And over time, if you want to play with this family or this or this uh, apartment, I can upload it to the gallery, but I haven't done it just yet because I didn't want to spoil it for you guys. So yeah, this is it, pretty much done. I'm excited to share it with you guys and yeah, it should be a good time. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of it so far. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. So, so.